I'm just making a little video here. I've got a book, um, Making Number Talks Matter. Hopefully you can see that in the cover there. I won, I won this book um, when I attended some PD. I've got their card here, uh, Math Teacher Circles. And uh, I, I, in the summer holidays, I, I attended that PD and it was really valuable. Um, so I started reading this book and where are we? And we're on page 21, 22 and we're, um, it's, I've got it circled here. It says making the most of multiple answers, uh, multiple answers to the same problem offer wonderful opportunities to learn. And then I flipped over on the, the page here and it says a, a wrong, I don't know whether the camera can pick that up, but it says a wrong answer to learn from. And the question here was 28 times 12. Um, and I thought, well, first of all, I've got to work out what the right answer is before. Uh, I can see where they've gone wrong, but I... I was thinking, what is what is the correct answer? And I, something triggered me from the uh, the dot point before saying making the most of multiple answers. And um, hopefully you can start to see in there. I grabbed a pen and I went um, <clears throat> crazy, I guess, uh, and looked at all the different ways that I could work, different strategies that I could work out 28 times 12. So I'm just counting them up here and I've got five, six, seven, eight, perhaps nine different ways. There might be a little bit of overlap between some of them, but um, I just thought about it nine different ways, how I could answer that question nine different ways. And um, what I'm going to do now is show you uh, jump behind the light board and, and show you my different responses to that um, question and hopefully hopefully when you're watching this hopefully what it does is free up your mind a little bit and uh, gives you multiple entry and ent entry points into doing some of this mathematics um, because I, I think there's a real shift moving away from just working with the algorithm and I, I tell students algorithm means set way of doing things and it works and it's efficient if you know exactly what you're doing but sometimes I revert to any of these other strategies because they're actually faster um, not that mathematics is about being fast at anything um, but it's just it's just the way I work sometimes. I don't default to the algorithm. And hopefully you can see all the different ways I'm thinking about it here. I've got the book with me here and all my scribble in the book here. What I was thinking about from this question is that we've got the workings here for uh, a wrong answer to learn from. So that was the example there. But, um, you know, there's a mistake in that work and we can talk about that um, a bit later but um, that was the launching pad I said to myself well you know I'm not really sure what the answer to 28 times 12 is so um, I set up the algorithm and I worked worked out the answer there and uh, we're carrying one there 56 um, and then put a zero down and that's two. Uh, what have we got? <clears throat> three, three, six. So there's the answer. We've got the correct answer here. And what it was is really a launching pad for me to think about all the different ways of doing this. So um, I just kept thinking and kept writing and kept working. And I was thinking about the same question again as seven times four times four times three. And I thought about this as seven times three times um, four squared. And that's 21 times 
16 and I was thinking that's easy as uh, 320 plus 16 and I'm at 336 is one of my answers there so I had another way to work there <clears throat> what I also saw inside of here again uh, another way to, of working here was um, uh, 28 times 12 better be careful because I might run out of board here I saw this as um, buried inside of here was um, oh, I guess 24 times 12 plus 4 times 12 and what I saw in here was 144 so I actually saw a square I thought about that as two uh, lots of 12 squared which is 140 uh, two lots of 144 plus uh, what have we got four lots of 12 there so that's going to be 48 so the work here two lots of 144 plus 48 and we should get back to um 336 so there's a third way i was thinking about it um <clears throat> visually i've got a ways of ways of working here i can think about this as 28 times 12 and split that up into a 10 and a 2 and a 20 and an 8 and do my work there there's 200 there's uh, 40 there 80 here and 16 here and that should all add up to I'm at 320 here plus 16 and I'm at 336 so I've got my answer again um, another way I might just have enough room in underneath here to set out a few more examples I was thinking again as this is 20 plus 8 uh, multiplied by <clears throat> I'll just use a dot there uh, 10 plus 12 now I multiplied these things through and I end up with 200 plus 40 plus 80 plus 16 and that's all equal that looks very similar to what I had over there just another way to represent the same thing so um, these different ways they're all they're all valid ways of seeing things um, and following on from there <clears throat> I guess what I thought about it, it's, it's, I kind of labelled it as a, like a sideways shift because um, I guess it's kind of the same thing I thought about 20 times 12 plus 8 times 12 and this is 240 and this will be 8 times 12 is 96 and we end up at 336 so we end up in the same spot and I thought about this uh, using a subtraction method of it's kind of lining up under here and I thought about uh, this as 30 times 12 because that's easy that's 360 subtract two lots of 12 so that's gonna be 24 so what do, what do we got here we've got 360 subtract 24 and we're at 336 now I've just got a couple more methods uh, just before I move anywhere what are, what are we actually on here we've got how many different ways we've got an algorithm here that we can follow um, second way here looking at the factors of both those numbers I saw some squares here so that's three that's a fourth way visually um, um, just using a different method here so five ways this little shift here let's count it as another way and um, with uh, thinking about doing it with some subtraction here uh, I'm already at seven different ways I'll clean the board and I've got a couple more to show you so we're working here we've got seven ways so far and I'm looking at the eighth thing I've got written down here and I was thinking about this as our problem was 28 times 12 I was going to use a halving doubling type strategy I'll double 
28 to 56 and a half this and because they're even numbers again I can continue along this path and think about this as 112 times 3 so uh, that's going to be 6 3 3 and there's another method and just to wrap up like I have to say that I am not a hundred percent uh, familiar with this because I don't use it all the time uh, I find it interesting uh, but it's not something that I routinely use but I know it's taught the students that I work with I see them occasionally use this as a preferred way of working and um, so we're going to use the lattice method here and just as a final way of working because I, I, like I said some students use it so I'm just filling all this in, uh, 2 times 1 is 2, uh, 8 times 1 is 8, so we put the numbers in like this, and 2 times 2 is 4, so that's a 0, there's a 4 down there. And finally we've got 8 times 2 is 16 in here. Now that's got to be a 6, I add all these things up in uh, this part of the grid here. So I'm at 13, I've got to carry the one up here, and uh, that's going to be a 3. So my answer there uh, to the question of 28 times 12 is 336. So hopefully just in a short amount of space of time there, I've um, sort of demonstrated all the different ways to think about this problem. There's more than one um, and honestly guys you can look at the time that it's taken me to do each of those methods I don't think that one is particularly any faster than the other and but there is a huge variety of ways to think about multiplying numbers and different methods to use and it's really really situational because you can apply whatever method uh, you want depending on what you see and what's easier easier in that situation and what's convenient to use, alright?